Welcome back to the Stephen S. Show. Adam, how's it going? First of all, is this the first Valentine's Day as a married man? Uh, second one. Second, how was it? It was good. You know, we ordered in uh, from a local restaurant. They delivered a meal and we just kind of took it easy. You know, there's not much else yeah. to do in a pandemic, but eat uh, yeah. in the wintertime. You can't really eat outside. So, uh, yeah, we made we made the best of it, but it was great. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I'll let y'all take it away with movie reviews. Take it away. Sure thing. So the movie I saw this weekend was Judas and the Black Messiah. And this was... I saw that too. Go yep, ahead. this was the big release of the weekend. And for anyone unfamiliar, this follows the real-life events of Black Panther chairman in Illinois, Fred Hampton, and his betrayal by an FBI informant, William O'Neill. And Fred Hampton play is played by Daniel Kaluuya, and Lakeith Stanfield plays William O'Neill. And it is a film that really feels like, uh, and the way the director described it was like, he said it's kind of the departed with mixed in with a few other kind of elements. And it really felt that way. So again, this movie follows the life of William O'Neill, who uh, not too much of a spoiler, gets arrested and becomes an FBI informant to infiltrate the Black Panther Party in Chicago. And at the time, Fred Hampton, who is a, a major member of the party, the chairman, he is uh, uniting not only the Black Panthers, but you know he forms the Rainbow Coalition of different groups of people and creates this big uh, movement, of course, that the FBI sees as a threat. And then he is... William O'Neill is kind of the one that has to work with the FBI to stop Fred Hampton. And uh, it, again, I, it, I know I'm trying to not to sound like I'm giving away spoilers, especially since the title is called Judas and the Black Messiah, but um, there's a lot to this. This was a great movie. I think this is our first big Oscar contender of the year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, uh, you know, Daniel, Kalu both everyone did a great job, not just the, the main two leads, uh, but uh, for me, Lakeith Stanfield really stood out. He, and if anyone's seen him in Atlanta and anyone's seen him in that movie where he works as the call center operator, he has a, such a great range and he feels very, he just felt so authentic, especially yeah. in this role. So um, I, I know both of you have seen it, so I'm going to let you guys kind of add into it, but well, uh, let me, definitely. Let me ask this. I let me ask that. this. Do you feel that because you you know they they I, I was reading the credits as it was ending and he committed suicide right after it was, his last interview was aired from um, Eyes on the Prize Part Two which mm -hmm. I saw the documentary and you know they showed the interview that he did he did it in eighty nine and they aired in ninety um, he pretty much said I'll let um, history speak for it yep speak for it but the fact that he committed suicide after it aired. Well, so I, and I don't know too much about the history, but I did read a little bit about that. And apparently he died in a car accident and his wife still claims it wasn't suicide, but oh. he also attempted suicide earlier, maybe earlier that year, earlier in his life. Mm -hmm. So it's, again, it's one of those things. And uh, as I say, with any of movies that are based on true stories, research the yeah. events and research the facts, because uh, again, I don't know if it was actual suicide or if it was a real car accident, but it was very interesting that they added that part because that's it's a kind of an important thing to point out, right? Well, even the police officer he was working with, the FBI agent he was working with, he he questioned him, remember? Mm -hmm. He said, were you just acting or were you really part of this movement? And I think that, um, I don't know, we talk about different people on the show how you can do a job and not take it to heart and then you it and i i don't think you can fake that that fake mm -hmm. that experience of being there what do you think chica i think that he had a full black panther experience which his heart warmed to and yeah. um probably that struggle that he was dealing with led to his demise mm -hmm. because at the end of the day when you really look at it he was a turncoat on the people that loved him and they got shot. I mean, the way they came in there and shot up that that, that apartment, or the the, the head. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. It's it's it's. Oh, I think it's always interesting to watch or experience a movie where someone who is so seems so loyal or part of something betrays, uh, and like Chica said, kind of like that Benedict Arnold moment. 
because uh, really what does go on in their mind and what what motivates them to do what they do in the mm-hmm. sense that they do it that it changes uh history right and changes a lot of things so and if you, uh, if you think of, if you think about the ages that they all were during yeah, that yeah, time yeah. they were in their early 20s late yeah. teens and i could see him at that age being beguiled and frightened into a situation mm-hmm. and the way that it was presented even in the film wasn't like we're going to assassinate is we just right. want to inform we just want information that's the way that it was presented but i yep. think and it turned based, into something else based on the film once he knew they wanted him to do a a, a draw out of the the quarters the headquarters Diagram, yep and the dragon the, um yeah and he said are you going to kill him i mean but he was threatened mm-hmm. he was threatened oh yeah okay, do you and I just imagine, I just can't imagine to be in that circumstance, you know, because at this part, he was too far in, in, involved, you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, it's definitely an interesting movie, and again, I, I think you both can agree, I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, oh, I guess yeah, the, the one, I guess, and it's funny you mentioned the ages, Chike, because I guess the one, one, and it's not even really a complaint, but Daniel Kaluuya does not look 21. Lakeith Stanfield does not look 17. That's the real ages of the characters in the movies. Right. But of course, you got to get the, the the good star power behind it. Uh, so <laughs> it, don't let that throw you off. No, I agree. I agree. Um, and so that's it for movies. I will say, Chike, based on kind of your recommendation last week, I did start The Sinner. I watched season one. Uh, you know, I think it, it was best as just a two-hour movie or like an episode. There was a lot of filler in it. And maybe season, maybe the other seasons get better because it's different stories uh but to me i I, and this is the jessica beale season i don't know if you remember uh chike yes yes. to me it felt like there was a lot of filler and i know it's again a usa tv uh show but um i just i wanted to know the mystery and i didn't really care about anything else right got you that's that's where it got me so uh again i'm looking forward to the other season to hopefully it does pick up to a different kind of way yeah, I'm I'm wrapping up the third season now. I should be done. I'll be done by this weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I saw another film on uh, HBO Max, and it's called There Is No I in Threesome. Um, the title alone just pulled me in. I just had, I was curious. And um, it's basically about a married couple. Well, actually, technically, they're not married. They're an engaged couple who decide to have an open relationship until they get married. When they get married, they, they'll stop having that open relationship. An open relationship, they made a plan of, you can see whoever you want, I'll see whoever I want. And as it gets closer to the date of marriage, right before they're gonna have a threesome with those people mm. as a couple, right before they get married and then they're gonna stop cold turkey. Yeah. And it was based off of true events. It was a documentary. It was actually a film of a documentary, if that makes sense. So the guy actually made a movie out of him Ah, making a documentary about that situation because it's his real life situation. Um, (laughs) It's a pretty interesting movie. Um, I'm always interested in situations with, uh, that deal with human behavior and um, yeah. Definitely, it's a good movie. Married people should check it out. Okay. And people that are intending on having this type of relationship should check it out. Um, I know some people that participate in polyamory and they have very interesting lives. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely check this out. It's a good movie. It's a good sit at home movie. It's on HBO Max, just check it out. Perfect. I don't, I don't have anything else that I saw. Um, I did have a, a documentary that I saw, but I'm going to save that to next week because it deserves to have its a spotlight. So okay. I'll wait. Yeah. What about you, Stephen? One Angela Bassett. Did uh, so did since we have a little bit of time? Did either of you see the SNL with Regina King? I didn't, but I, I did see a, a clip on uh, CBS this morning. Okay. She killed it. Yeah. She killed oh, it. she is like. Yeah. I, I mean, I know she's obviously produced and acted, but like, yeah, she's, uh, it's, it's funny. She's a natural with comedy, I think. Yeah. 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 I agree. I agree. 
Anything coming down the pipeline we could, we should anticipate? Uh, I just keep things open to see what happens. I am looking forward to Jack Snyder's Justice League. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that. I've seen the trailer. It released this weekend. It looks really good. Nice. Mm, it looks really, really good. All right. Well, guys, thank you for always letting us know what to spend our money. Because now we have to pay money. Money <laughs> in our time on. And um, I'm glad to see movies coming back. You know what I mean? New movies, you know, reinterpreted movies. I'm glad to see it coming back. And so um, thank you for always for letting us know what to spend our time on. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Right back at right back after this.